go. Hi guys, so today is the day that I need to um, put on a new pump base. So I have all the things that I think I need for that. So I have, um, I know that while I do a pump base um, change, you can also change your reservoir and I do need to change my reservoir. So um, I have the reservoir here, insulin, and this is my new pump base. So I've decorated it, okay, already. Now this new pump base, so I've decorated mine already, should come with your first pump. So you should have two. When you're about two weeks away from changing your pump base, I recommend asking Roche or whoever you get your usual uh, supplies from for another pump base so that you always have two. So that when this is on, I've already got a spare. So I can, um, I know that I've already, already got one. If something was to happen with this, then I've got a spare already. So I'm going to put that down there. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn my um, handset on. Okay, and I'm going to go to the main menu and press release. So on release, you can see I have an option for infusion assembly, reservoir and pump base. Now I've put a film already on my um, my um, handset because I just want to protect it. So that's why it looks a little bit like that. So I'm going to press pump base. And when I pump, press pump base, already I get two ticks. It says reservoir and pump base. And I am going to change that. So the first thing I need to do is change my reservoir. So... I'm just going to um, open up my new reservoir and fill that one up. So I have my insulin. Now I've taken this out of the fridge for about a couple of hours just to make it sure that it's room temperature. It's a new bottle. So I'm taking off the orange lid. So for changing the pump base, the first thing I need to do is take off the orange battery cover. So that's off. Okay. And then what I do is I pull down, can I turn it around because it's easier for me, the um the plunger to two to two. So that means two hundred. And now I'm going to put that into the insulin bottle and then push the air into the insulin bottle and then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to fill up the insulin bottle so what I do as I pull it to one just after one and then I tip so the air is right near the plunger, the right near where the, the insulin is going to come through. So, so then I can get the, all that air out. Now you won't be able to see that coming out. So now I have no more air. I could pull that down again. Okay. And then I'm just going to flick. So it bubbles away. So there's no more air bubbles. Take that off. Let me take that off. And leave that aside now because I'm going to put that, be putting that into my new pump base. So that is all done and ready. Okay, so this is the new pump base. So first of all, I'm going to take the blue bit off. That's off. Okay, put that on the table. And I'm pressing replace. It's twirly things. Okay, so what it wants me to do is take off 
what I have already on and put it into the bin. So I'm just going to put that to a side. Taking this one off, the old one. I'm putting that to the side. Okay. So I'm going to press done. And it says here, fill new reservoir of insulin, which I've done, and connect the reservoir to the pump base. So I'm going to connect that to the, to the new pump base. So here it is. And you'll hear, you should, might, you might be able to hear a noise after that. So that's on. Okay, heard the noise. That's good. And it says connect the reservoir to the pump base, which I've done. And now I'm going to um, fill the reservoir. So it says 200 here. So I'm just going to fill that. So I'm going to press save. Ah, oh, now it's come up with hold the diabetes manager close to the micro pump. So, put that close to the micro pump. And it says next, so I'm going to press next. Come around here, it's easy, it might be easy to see this. It's just doing its thing. And now, saying scan pairing code so i'm going to scan it you could use your pump key so i have a pump key here number as well which you should get with your pump okay but i'm going to scan this so i'm going to press scan pairing code and i need to please put it says place a barcode inside the viewer rectangle to scan it. Is it there? Put it that way. Not quite sure. I've not done this before. Try it out. Yeah, it's just not doing it at the moment. What do you mean? Let me have a quick go. It's it's it. It's that QR code, I assume. Yeah. There you go. So it's just important to get really close to the okay. machine when you're doing it. Because you're looking to scan the QR code. So you just need to get... I was really close to it then. So okay. you might That's just good. need to zoom in further. So now, doing this whirly thing. You can see that little bar go across there, can't you? Yep. So you can see how far it's got to go, which is quite helpful. And now it's saying fill reservoir needle. Okay, so this is what I usually do and I'm just changing reservoir so I press fill and you can hear I hope the reservoir filling and I'm just looking for the uh, the insulin to come out of the uh, the needle It might take a little bit of time to do. Sometimes this is really quick and sometimes a little bit longer. 
So, and you can see the insulin now. Yep, I can see the insulin, so I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to put it back onto my new, my new pump base back on. So, so I always make sure I hear the two clicks uh, so I know it's securely put in. So I find the needle and cannula and it's going in here. So touching that to there. Okay, 90 degree angle. I'm pressing once for one click, two for the second click. And I know it's already installed. So that's it. So that is how to change your pump base. Um, I do recommend that you um, wait till perhaps your insulin reservoir needs refilling anyway, because they're not, not waiting any um, insulin there. But um, but that's it. So I'm all ready to go um, for my new pump base. So that will last me four months roughly. So I won't need to change that again for four months. Obviously the reservoir I need to change roughly every three to four days. Sometimes four days, depending on how much insulin I use. And I change the cannula every three to four days as well. So I don't have to change them together. I can change them at separate times. Anyway, I hope that you found that really useful. Take care. Bye.